Guys, this is Jagan from India, your developer of Dinner's Noise, and this is my sort of whiteboard. Don't have a whiteboard really, it's just paper held together with these magnets I found. So, so this is coming for release 38. It's like a mix of what I want to do. Uh, a lot of ideology on this one, like for example, intuition chased me and I stopped running. And this is let the solution emerge, trust it to emerge, but trusting is hard. Then this one is let the problem lie, keep thinking about it. And that kind of leads you to this. What is that? Free software, no, that's not the idea. The, so this was the inspiration, this kind of, you know, range modulation, height and width modulation you know, on the microtonal keyboard. And uh, so this is my friend Mahadevan, he lives nearby and he said, you need to like be mulish, you need to just uh, read docs constantly, put yourself in front of the tutorial, of whatever you're trying to do but you can't understand and uh, just wait and wait and the solution will come and then this there has to be play drunkenness in the code I am not interested in elegant software that stays still but when it happens it's nice of course so yeah I mean it has the software is too stiff you know too stiff developers are too kind of lost in the abstractions and uh, you know and it's not loose it's too serious and that that kind of brings me to this software is too serious loose enough we're not trying to control nuclear reactors here you know we're trying to make sounds we claim to make sounds claim to make music but no, it does, doesn't have to be serious. You can loosen up and just do stuff. And this is, uh, oh, this I love this. I don't know when I made this, but go very deep into the comfort zone. Yeah, don't have to get out of the comfort zone. Go very deep into it instead. So yeah, what else is that? Oh, set quickest curve mixing time. Okay, so we're gonna do that. This is finished, range modulation editor, height, depth, BPM is finished. Drone snap based on height is also finished. So it's good. This is got nothing to do with DIN because we're trying to do some electricity supply here and uh, yeah, so it required that. This is a bunch of things to do still. Shine, sign mixer should be off. Yeah, modulate should start modulating the range without the jump. Yeah, okay. Arrow width and arrow height editing. Oh, of what? The drone arrow. Yeah. So why not? Why not edit? That's that's what gives gave this philosophy. Software is too serious. Why not just edit? Allow the user to edit and the arrow, the velocity pointer, or, or uh, you know the the look of that. So it's just keep it loose. Keep it keep it keep it free software. Yeah. So I'm gonna. So we're working on a Linux binary. I'm working on a Linux binary so people don't want to uh, build from source code. So for them it's going to be a binary and uh, it's going to be part of the licensing scheme yeah, in DIN. So I'm going to charge people for the binary So on Linux. Uh, but of course, you d if you don't want to pay for the binary, you can build it from the source code yourself. So, and already one person has bought the binary. Mike Holstein, so thanks a lot. And the final thing I want to say is a composer has to become an observer, right? So right now in music, composer is like the god, yeah? So, but what happens when you have software? Um, software, I mean, instruments are hardware, right? And instruments are fixed. You can't really change the instrument while performing. But uh, my whole point about DIN is to the whole software, I mean, because it's a software instrument, it has to be changed constantly. It has to be changed. Play and drunkenness. And, uh, you know, I'm not interested in software that stays still. 
all right? So it has to, everything changes, right? So the composer becomes just an observer, okay? So because the composer is a person who has control, but with Din, uh, we want to remove con this sort of control, this traditional form of control. There is still control, but this control has to be learned and uh, mastered, but it can be mastered. So then the composer may accuse that, oh, well, then you as a software writer are now becoming the composer. You are telling us what to do, you know. So are you the composer now? No. All right? No. Why no? Because I give you the code. Yeah? You got the code of the software, at least on Linux, and you can build it and once again take control back from me. That's why it's free software. That's why I release my code as free software and it's GPL and uh, yeah that's it so thanks a lot for watching and what is that oh that's the internals that I changed so the beat value stuff it's not important it's not worth it's not part of the ideology so there you go so that's my whiteboard and uh, that's my setup here all right so I've got the new subwoofer I'm quite pleased with it's all a JBL LSR 308 and LSR 10s and yeah, so this is my chair and my monitor. I love my monitor. I say it's no signal right now, but that's okay. And this, this is like kind of my wall. It has lots of these Japanese prints. I took print out of them. And that's a picture that I made about a ship that's like beached ship there in Kerala in a place called uh, Kovalam. Yeah. A column, sorry, not coal. Kolam is in Tamil Nadu. This one is Isabella Plantation inside Richmond Park. One of the most amazing places. Psychedelic, in fact. And then I started scribbling on the walls and the cupboard. And then I started making this thing to keep myself sane. You know, this is my whole wall there. That's my bed, my underwear and stuff. Sorry about that. Just didn't plan this thing. So one of my friends did the thing at the bottom. So anyway, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, yeah, DIN 38. Very excited. Okay, see you soon. Bye.